State here with us. Well, they've been like defending state champs for like 17 years in a row. FAMU DRS girls are legendary. We got Coach Erica Kamadi with us. And uh, I think for the first time, she doesn't return a player of the year. But Coach, welcome to us. And tell us about what, what you have this year. Um, we got a team that's uh, very capable of repeating as state champions. But it's just going to take a little bit more work. Um, I think we're peaking at the right time. And I think it's, 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 it's on and popping right now. OK. I see you uh, had a young lady sign early, Dominique. Yeah, she signed to Appalachian State University. Um, she was a, a big asset, asset to this team, and we wish her well, but we want to see her go out with a state champion before she goes to Appalachian State. Okay. We've had her, I think I had her back when she was maybe sixth or seventh grade. Okay. You know, so we had her when she was a baby in, in the AAU program. But you have a lot of young girls that are playing well for you, too. Yeah, I think we had a, um, this year was the toughest schedule we had in history, and I did that on purpose because I know we need to be battled. We needed to be battle tested, so that's why we did that. I mean, we took some bruises, but it's for the long run. But one thing about fam, you had to this year you play bigger schools to get ready. So a lot of times you can go to state championship with eight, nine, ten losses. We just want that that big W at the end. That's all that matters because you can go undefeated and lose at the end. It don't matter. So. Okay. That's right. Go Tell ahead. me what what this game is. I know that uh, Rickards is trying to, to wrestle the title of the best girls team in the city. They're young and they're hungry. What is your challenge going to be tonight? Um, it's a south side rivalry. It goes back to even um, before I, I even played and as I played. So it's going to be intense. Um, it's just bragging rights. But it's two best, the two best teams in the city, in my opinion. So it should be a good game. Coach, not only your opinion, all of us kind of feel that way. Okay, that's and, good. And, 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 and yeah. you know, we interviewed Coach Davis, and they're trying to wrestle the title away from you. So yeah. So what? What? How, are you girls ready? They're ready. Okay. They're Coach, ready. are you ready? I'm ready. Do you, do you wish sometimes you could go out there and shoot that jumper on them you were known for? I wish I could. My mind says that, but my body might not agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's Coach. We're going to come back and do a little bit more pregame, and we're going to wish them a lot of luck in the game tonight. Coach, good luck, and thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. This is Coach Mark Johnson. Hey, from the Bull Rush. Y'all know about it. Go Bulls. We want to make sure everything goes good for you this football season, and we got a few things that we want to make sure that you remember as we highlight the upcoming football season. First thing, parking is key. I paid $1,500 for this parking spot, and it's a damn bus behind me. I got problems with that. Can you help me with that? Uh, yeah. I okay, you be. don't sound like you can help me, so let me tell you what you're going to do. We do this as a part of our job. Oh, no. Ooh. You guys gonna go up, you're gonna do a U-turn, you're gonna come out. No, if you don't come out, we're we gonna tell you. Sir, we're gonna tell you. Well, we have to win the STC Bulls. We will win, course. but we need your support because, you know, if, if we do win, we do get, um, what is that, next home game? Yes. We'll be girl. recognized. And we're so, your favorite please. nieces. Yes. I know one thing. This car can't get towed under because I ain't walking. I can't walk. I'm not I walking. Can't, I'm not walking. I'm going to have to slide my way up out of here. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey, didn't I tell you to stop? Stop, stop this. I, I had the athletic director of this school. What part of this a $5,000 bull rush sponsor are you not understanding? Yeah, I, stop! We're not involved in the budget process at all. The athletic department makes their budget up and They'll ask us what do they think that we can contribute, and we do, and they put that in the budget. Okay, damn it, I got something for your behind. I own the bus. Wait a minute, you come in here on game day? Yes. You trying to embarrass me? Where's my money, man? Look, man, we gonna get your money, man. No, 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 Well, when you come in, they call you little Popo. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Why do we even pay you for to do this stuff here? You know what? We get something better, cheaper than this, than you. Ten dollars what? You need to pay ten dollars over here. I'm not giving you the money. Okay, but you ain't listen to your dad. No. And it's your dad's car. Yes. It's towed. And there's guns in the car. Yes. Man, this ain't this ain't a good day for you. You won't be here too long. Do y'all talk?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at James S. Rickards High School. We got the city, city, city rivalry tonight. Rickards girls, FAMU High girls, FAMU High defending state champions three years in a row. Three. And Rickards coming in tonight. They're 22 and 2, Coach. Yeah, it's going to be one of those games, Coach. Now, yeah, we're going to have a bomb burning here. Yeah, always good to be back at Rickards. We feel the subs already. They've already. They're piping it up already. Oh, man, this is going to be a good game here. You know, we saw Rickards earlier in the year against Colquitt. Uh, Colquitt now, last time I saw them, they were ranked fifth in the state over there in Georgia. And the, the interesting thing about this team from Rickards, they have no seniors on this roster. No senior, they, and they have my all-neighborhood strap. It looks like she's strapped up and ready to go. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, and that leading score is a girl that we identified very early with that we like. And you remember her? Yes, sir. Tamia yes. Riles. Uh, I love it. I love it, Coach. Hopefully we will we'll get to see uh, a good guard matchup. We'll, we'll see some uh, some down low post play and uh, look forward to seeing that, that Appalachian State signee, see what she can do. Yeah, Dominique. Dominique. Yes, Dominique sir. Jeffrey, we had a 6'1 senior. She, uh, I had her when she was a little girl. When she first started playing with the AAU program I was with, and I remember being at the free throw line with her one day. I said, baby, did anybody even show you how to shoot a free throw? She said, no, sir. So I said, okay, let, let me show you how to do that. Now I'm looking at her out here warming up shooting three. Yeah, she's looking good. And you know, I saw old Jasmine the other night. She came back to town against against uh, Sue Semmer on the Florida State Seminoles. She looked pretty good. I think she hit eight points. She did. She hit four out of the last five jump shots. And one of the things about her was, I see all the time with athletes, they tend not to be real good jump shooters because they have a different release point where they shoot from. They worked with her a lot on her shot, and you could tell the difference when she was shooting the jumper that she she looked real good doing it. Yes, sir. All right. So we're ready to go here. We'll, we'll, let's take a, you want to take a break and come back after this with we, the tip? We'll come back with the tip. It's that Spreaker. We'll still be with Spreaker, even though they're telling me is they're having some problems getting it clear. But uh, we'll keep working with them. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is gonna to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. We're back, boy. You know, we've been at, we, we've been in this gym a little bit too much now because the referees even come to us and dap me up over here. <laughs> There's old the athletic director, the Rickards athletic director over there. He's he's pulling oh, double he, duty. He's the hardest working athletic director in the county there. Yeah, I saw him behind the concession stand. He was he was getting mustered out of the out of the cabinet, serving hot dogs. And then he got ice for the drinks. Yeah, so he's on it. <laughs> oh yeah, he he's a hard working individual and. Uh, we're going pretty good, to Giselle. So it, it, it's, it's about that time to get ready to jump, the, jump it off and get the tip. And it, it still got the Migos going, classic rigor style. I, you know, they play, keep that base going all the way up. The kids weren't even looking and he threw the ball up. But, uh, wow. Raiders with the opening possession. Very aggressive for the start. Early foul on Strap. Yeah, but even on that possession, when they took the took that shot, he sat down. Family High watched the ball go by and didn't make any. Lakeisha Walker saw it go by, and she's been starting for the last three years. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Very nice touch there. Very nice jumper there. He said, "Knock that down." That, we saw her shooting that jumper last time. Cross court pass. Might hit that jumper there. 
And that's a call of foul on Dominique underneath. If they're going to call it close tonight. I don't know. Again, I, I, I'd like to see them play. Full court press. There's At the four, they got LaKista Walker from Family High. She was a starting point guard when they won two state championships. Now she's playing the four. Family High is playing four point guards. Long three. Now they didn't call that close because she got mugged then. <laughs> she got mugged. I saw the deputy sheriff get up with their handcuffs. <laughs> You get ready to write a report up. Oh, yeah, you're ready to write them up. She got the, broke the press to the middle of the. Yeah, but they're shooting the ball a little bit too quick to me. Just because you get the ball down the floor doesn't mean you have to take a jumper. Turnover. And she puts it in there. She puts it in there. That's an eighth grader. Then you have that full court press. There's yeah. a steal, almost a steal. Yeah, she got fouled that time, so they're going to let them play both ways, and I can live with that. Nice block by Dominique. Had put her hand straight up. Good no call by the ref. Good no call. Let them play there. Two, three by Ricketts. And she steals that first pass, which is what she's supposed to do. She jumped that lane. Good crowd in here. Girls game. This is a good crowd in here. Damn, you hot. Walking down on defense, sir. Slow matching up in there man to man. Dominique should have been able to steal that one. Richards is going to push that one on them a little bit more in a minute. They're not going to give them all that time to walk down the floor. That's a nice one. Who's that, who's that foul on? They, they call that on number two, Ashanti Lamb. Okay, okay. Ashanti, she's, she's pretty emotional. She's a spiritual leader. She, she comes, she's afraid of no one as they miss the first free throw. Jasmine Brown, 5'8", junior, left-handed. One of the team captains, they're tri captains. Four two. I like those those uh, those warm, those pants, those underpants. Yeah, those, uh, nice block out by up. Lamb. Block out. And she got the rebound. Rickerson. See, that's the starting point guard when they won the state championship right there, number three. They kind of moved her over. Turnover. And yeah, needed a bounce pass then. Coach Cromartie's up in coaching. Go ahead, go ahead. Coach Davis makes her first sub. Davis played at, at, at East Gaston, I believe. So both of them played in high school from the area and they're, mm -hmm. they're part of the legacy of women's basketball here in the city. They're on the turnover. And she gets it back. Turns it back over. Three on two. That's the eighth grader made the steal. Because of travel. Oh, boy. Aaron Terrell. Her twin sister, Erica. Two, five, four, eighth graders. Ah, uh, you gave them the sideline. Oh, they, they wow. beat her up. They beat her up. They beat her up. They missed the first two fouls. Yeah, they... And the girls are just taking taking the cue. Hey, if this is, gonna this is how it's going to be, we're just going gonna to roll with it. Yeah, but the, tough, but the thing is, when you play a, a rivalry game like this and it gets a little physical, it usually gets out of hand. It'll get out of hand. We saw that earlier in the year with, with two teams where it, it, it kind of built up to a to a uh, jump ball situation and, they, and teams came and the, the players came off the benches. Yeah, players and parents too. <laughs> Wow, she got knocked down there. Nice pass. Come on, Dominique. They call a foul. They very easily could have called a travel there. Yeah. 
Dominique going to the free throw line, take two free throws. We'll see if your free throw, your free throw uh, teaching techniques help her out. Yeah, we'll take a break and come back and see. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Yeah, Dominique, hit the line. Come on, Dominique. Take some time. Nice touch. In there. In there. I'll only claim it if she knocks him down. If she misses him, it'll be because she didn't get a refresh, of course. Got a Raiders player coming out with a busted lip. Yeah. It's a very physical game. And it's good. I tell you, I wouldn't want to be playing them. Strat brings it up. I couldn't tell if that was a 2-1-2 two, two trap or a 2-2-1. Two, two, if it was a 2-2-1, two, two, Dominique was too far back on it. At, at the free throw line. Tie game, 4-4. Four, four. Laura Harris is still feeling each other out. They haven't really settled into this one yet. The ladies basketball is on a whole different level. In, over the over the last five years, I mean, this is this would be a crowd of a rivalry guy, guys game. Missed them both. Well, you could tell by the fans in here. You can tell by the fans in here. Coach Cromartie tell you, South Side rivalry. Shanti Lamb with the three, knocks it down. Oh, I, triple OG style. I was gonna tell you, she's a streak shooter. We've been watching them play a long time. A little too hard off the glass. It looks like the ball got kicked. Benny High, Lamb one on one. Throws up the. Yeah, that, that isn't her shot. She, she's a better <laughs> perimeter shooter. And she's going to play defense. She's afraid of nobody. She's scrappy now. Something goes down, she's going to be in the middle of it. She backs off of no one. They let Strap shoot that. They let her shoot it, didn't they? Another the bottom of the net. Yes, they they got to defend. Very, they're playing a very soft zone. Raiders well, take they, it. They dared her to shoot that one. Raiders. Dominique can hit that one. Though. But she also gets frustrated. She gets frustrated. You have to talk to her to calm her down a little bit. She gets a little frustrated. She has a nice touch on the ball, but what she needs to be able to do is get in the paint and dominate. And dominate. Uh, we're over here with the train at Rickards. Your girl Scrap is bleeding over here, so they're trying to clean up. Another Raider player. <laughs> Another. Fam you High has to contest those shots. The Raiders are just taking advantage of a very soft, again, very soft zone. Well, to me, is you know, real patience. She's averaging 18 points a game. That's the first one she's knocked down today. Way to put the ball in the middle on the press. Swing it, though. Don't have to dribble it, Dominique. Swing it to the other side. That's a, you got a four on one. The fam you high just walking back. Exactly. That's just what I was going to say. That's just what I was going to say. Four players were on this side of half court. Yeah, nobody nobody turned and sprinted back to help out. They just they were content to give up easy layups. Yeah, they, they were. And we got a timeout. And we'll be right back. Freaker, we stay here with you. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. 
your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct auto exchange in Tallahassee. Direct auto exchange. West Tennessee. Direct auto exchange. We're selling quality real cars. Yep, yeah, we're back, Coach, with the Gucci Man. I think you just want to get back to put the uh, music on. Sitting right here on the sideline next to the athletic director is Kanisha Miller. She was another one of the young ladies that played for me when I was coaching at AAU, graduated with a nursing degree, played here at Richard. And we have Giselle. Giselle, what do you have for us? While Coach Clayton I was out there, and Coach Sheree was mentioned to turn her growth switch, they pushed forward. She also mentioned to make... See, we... Okay, now, nah, we just couldn't hear you over the music. Okay, go ahead and tell us again real quick. Well, yes, Coach Clayton, Coach Sheree was telling her growth to make sure they pushed forward. She said, keep your eye on the ball and make sure you keep that pressure up because the family was definitely feeling it. Back to you guys. Now, we knocked down a three, one of the eighth graders. She's right. She wants to keep that pressure on them because she doesn't think they'll be able to handle it for long. Yeah. There she is, Tamia Ross. Yeah. Yeah, another, another, you know, easy jumper. They're keeping that full court press on. It's another turnover. Man, the high body language is bad. They got four players again that didn't even get back on it. FAMU High is trying to break, break this pressure by dribbling it. And once you dribble it, it's like a vice. It gets tighter and tighter. And, they, and Rickards gets after that pressure. Once you put the ball on the floor, they come after you. The other side of it is they actually have four point guards. Well, they have four. They got three point guards in the game. They knock down the first free throw, and the score goes up 16 to 10. Need to get somebody in the middle of the press. Ah, uh, still can't throw the ball cross court. Can't throw a skip pass like that cross court. Coach is trying to, <laughs> she's trying to talk to him, settle him down. Trying to talk to Shanti, but Ashanti's talking back. See, then you got your point guard, Ashanti's underneath the basket on a missed free throw. Your second biggest girl is standing out here at the free throw line. The smallest girl on your team is inside. Yep. You got to get that ball worked to the middle and then back to the outlet so they can get it across court because the last three possessions, they've, they've struggled to get it across the court. Yeah, and the body language is bad. See, if you look at 23, standing on the right-hand side, she's standing away from her. She'll never be able to block her out. Knocks it down. It's 18 to 10. Nobody in the middle. Of, hey, this is not the press offense. I know this isn't the press offense. There's a turnover coming. Swing the ball right. There you go. That was your starting point guard. That was your start, starting point guard. So once you get it in her hand, even though she's not the point guard now, she brings a lot of experience to the team. Raiders back with it. Family high a little bit, a little bit faster on the rotation on the defense. But you left the ball. Left it. Left for, a, for another wide open three. You left the ball. Everybody ran from the ball. Huh? 21-10. They're rolling on them now. Uh, see, Dominique, if you, could, if you could key on on her a little bit with that camera. 32, you can key in on her a little bit. She, she's losing it. She's getting frustrated. See, she's... And she's going all the way back. I don't know if they're lined up in the press they want. If they're in a press, they got three girls on the, on the other side of the, of the court lined up. See, you should have that skip pass, but she was so far back, she could never get up yeah. into it. Three Rickers, the three Rickers players under the goal for a rebound and another rebound. Luckily, to get a jump ball, they got to travel. They could have yeah. easily gotten it over the back. 
Fam, you how's gonna let this one get away from him? Let's change their press. Their energy level from Rickards is just up. They just their confidence is gonna they get ready to trap them right when she comes across half. She's mad because she was supposed to steal that pass. Uh, she got slapped. She did get five, all, got four players from FAMU High down here again. They met three of them just not crossing half court. Yeah, they need to stop stop complaining and worrying about the referees and just play ball. Just shut up and play. You're not going to get any calls, so don't expect any. Now, there was a, there was a fingernail foul there. <laughs> Wow. Um, that's, that's seven fouls, and Rick has just committed their second foul, seven to two. That's a large discrepancy on a team that's pressing, and they're not making any fouls. And Family High jogging down the floor. They're jogging down the floor. The last five possessions have not allowed five Family High players to be back on defense yet. Yeah. And it's 30 seconds left in the first quarter. It's 23 to 10. Nice free throw. That's a sophomore. 5-10. Ramia Hawkins. Knocks that one in. Yes, sir. Nice touch on the ball. You know, so as you cross half, they're going to trap you. You got to put one in the middle on the wing. Veteran guard. Veteran guard. Oh, she fouled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She did. Uh, Dominique mad again. Dominique's mad again. Foul. Lucretia Walker, 5'6", junior. The back of the free throw line is shooting one and one. And they're fussing. You, if the camera can get over here with Coach Cromarty I see him. and Ashante. Ashante's fussing with the coach. The coach is very patiently trying to talk to her. She's shaking her head no. She doesn't really want to hear it. Free no. throw miss. Good block, but no box out. Got to make that layup down there. Good. And here comes Ricketts. Yeah, they needed that. Ricketts. They needed that shot. Like ah, I should have a steal. They had that. They Wow. Wow. 25 to 12 at the end of the first quarter. We're going to take our quarter break, but we will be back. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years' experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Man. Real curious. Giselle is over there down in the corner. Hopefully we can get a, a report from her. Well, you're not going to be, be able to hear it till, uh, till the Kodak Black gets turned off, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> till, till we leave the moon. Look at the referee out there, Kodak bopping. Okay. I don't see that. But... Man, I... <laughs> One of the things that... Uh, one of the things that we always like to do was see what was happening with the other bench to see how the coach was, how the team was. We always wanted to know if we were affecting them, if we had them, if we had them and were inside their head. Okay, Giselle, what do you have for us over there, Family High? 
When I tell you, Coach Clayton, the energy coming over from family side is crazy. The girls, the, the tension in their eyes, just everyone is going wild. But let me tell you what Coach Erica said. She basically told the girls to play hard, make sure they push forward, and don't let the fact that they're a little bit behind bring them down. Back to you guys. Okay, so you say it was a lot of energy. So it was positive energy or they were upset? What kind of energy was it? That energy was anxious energy. It was a little positive, but it was mainly just something to push them forward. They were trying to make sure they stay strong. Okay, the coach is trying to encourage them. Now, she has a little reason. It's 10 fouls to two. Again, typically, when you're pressing a lot, you play a lot of people because you're wearing them out, but also you get 10 or 15 fouls per spot. Yeah. They're pressing them, and they're not in foul yeah, trouble the, at all. They, the fouls, I wouldn't say it's – They've gone one way, but the refs have missed several key calls. Especially yeah, if it's 10 fouls to two, that's one way. Well, I was trying to be diplomatic with it. When you don't usually try to be diplomatic. You know, Clank clearly, clearly Dominique g g caught the ball at the high key. Two defenders came and collapsed on her, gra basically grabbed her arm to, pre to prevent her from driving to the basket and then stole the ball, no foul. And, of course, she gets frustrated. Good rebound, Dominique. I still don't like yeah. Ashante being on that baseline. She's the smallest girl on the team almost. Yeah. And then Dominique comes back the other way with a small touch foul. The referees call it immediately. And a turnover. See, Dominique never did even get And they got another girl didn't even come down the floor. She's still on the other end. Yeah. She's still on the other end. The coaching gallery up here is... <laughs> They're calling every position. Say, hey, you got to do this. They working in it. Yeah, way, way to knock it down, Dominique. Now that'll keep them in the game. That I would call that fairly often. Call her number often and quickly. Rickards has made a little bit of a change, too, because I, I don't remember this number 11 being at point guard for them last time. I, I, I don't remember her being at point guard for them last time. You went with the high, went with the high screen. Lanaya Lee, 5'9", sophomore. <laughs> She's been averaging a double-double for him. I like her at the point guard spot. She's a little bigger that scrap is over there. She seems to have the team under a little bit better control. It took Ashante out, getting a little more size in there from FAMU High. Huh? 26-14. You're not going to make all of it at once. So you just got to close it down yeah, about 11 to 10. You chip away. I know that wasn't a play. Need to get back, Dominique, because they got a fast break. It's three on one, and Dominique, the last one getting down. Oh, she traveled. She changed pivot feet. Good yep. rebound, Dominique. Get it out. Wow. Rickards is out running the family high players. He's supposed to be filling the lane. There's, an, there's another. That, that kind of roll, roll, roll away shot. Too, pass too long for strap. And I'm watching Coach Davis is, you know, real patiently instructing them. Coach Cromartie, on the hand, other hand, is doing the same. She's trying to calm her team down, you know, trying to calm them down. She just turned it through the ball. There was nobody there. Yeah, she was anticipating it. Well, I see. Yep. Now that's all, see that was from what we have seen today. That's a light foul. We'll take a break and come back and discuss it. Hello everybody. This is Coach Mark Johnson. Hey, from the Bull Rush. Y'all know about it. Old Bulls. We want to make sure everything goes good for you this football season, and we got a few things that we want to make sure that you remember as we highlight the upcoming football season. 
First thing, parking is key. I paid $1,500 for this parking spot, and it's a damn bus behind me. I got problems with that. Can you help me with that? Uh, yeah. OK, you don't be. sound like you can help me, so let me tell you what you're going to do. We do this as a part of our job. Oh, no. Oh. You guys going to go up, you're going to do a U-turn, you're going to come out. No, if you not. don't come out, we're going to tow you. Sir, we're going to tow you. Well, we have to win the STC. Boomer's we will win, win, but we need your support because, you know, if, if we do win, we do get, um, what is that, next home game? Yes, We'll be girl. recognized. And we're so your favorite please. pieces. Yes. I know one thing. This car can't get told, honey, because I ain't walking. I can't walk. I'm not I walking. Can't, I'm not walking. I'm going to have to slide my way up out of here. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey, didn't I tell you to stop? Stop, stop this. Like I had the athletic director of this school. What part of this a $5,000 bull rush sponsor are you not understanding? Yeah. Stop! We're not involved in the budget process at all. The athletic department makes their budget up, and they'll ask us what do they think that we can contribute, and we do, and they put that in the budget. OK, damn it. I got something for your behind. I own the bus. Wait, man, you come in here on game day? Yes. You're trying to embarrass me? Where's my money, man? Look, man, we gonna get your money, man. No, 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 Well, when you come in, they call you Lil' Popo. You got that, man. Why do we even pay you for to do this stuff here? You know what? We get something better, cheaper than this, than you. Not a what? $10. You need to pay $10 on here, I'm not giving you no. OK, but you ain't listen to your dad. No. And it's your dad's car. Yes. It's towed, and his gun's in the car. Yes. Man, this ain't this ain't a good day for you. You won't be here too long. Do y'all talk? Dominique's over here getting some water. Niggas girl on the, on the floor, but nobody's underneath on this free throw. She's talking to coach so that she doesn't have to go under the basket. Rickard's eyes, and the coach is probably kind of hoping if we miss it, we're going to get the rebound. Sam, you had dodged the bullet. They got it. Raiders, Raiders sprint back into their defensive positions. If Famu High takes note of one thing going into the half, it's like, hey, we're just being out hustled on that defensive end. Uh, uh, we got a foul there. Yeah, we get, it's getting out of hand. But I told you that would happen. We're going to take a break and come back. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Yeah, the referee's doing a lot of talking. They're getting ready to clean on clean that floor a little bit. What they need to do is huddle up and, and kind of like reaffirm each other and like, look, we need to do better on our our uh, <laughs> officiating. Well, see, you just assume that the the, the referees are going to say that they, they don't have control of it. You know, we were here and saw things get out of control one time and. Yeah. This season in the referees felt like they had called a real good game. Yeah. And clearly, and like you 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 pointed out, a pressing team is on the ten to two foul ratio on the opposite end. Right. You would you would imagine that you're the one making the fouls pressing. And that's why a lot of teams come out of a press because they're in foul trouble. 27-16. Well Family High has faced adversity before on the road in the classification they are. They've been in some very rural places to play. So they, I mean, so they've seen worse. They just have to, they have, they've had players of the year that they could depend on to pull them out. 
Dominique. See, she has a hand on Dominique the whole time. You got to get that up on the square, yes. Dominique. They got the body on it, a hand on it, no, still no call. Yeah. See, those are the things that, as a coach, you don't, you know, you don't mind them calling it close. Just call it close both ways, because after a while, the team starts to defend itself. Yeah. Okay. And they call, they call that body that that body fine. <laughs> right, right. They're not consistent. They're not consistent. They're getting two free throws. And Rickards is, you know, they're playing within the rules. Now, if they're going to let you do that, that's exactly how you're supposed to defend it. Absolutely. You're supposed to play as physical as you can until they make you stop playing that way. Absolutely. 5'10", Junior. They also made an adjustment. When Dominique flashes to the middle, Rickards is sending somebody to the middle with her now. So they've made an adjustment. Coach Davis is over there coaching. It's a chess match. Missed free throw. Both teams playing hard. A lot yeah, of people playing on hard, the hustling to the ball. Man, you high players sprint it back. Coach, coach made that change. Said, "Hey, we got to get back on defense." Yeah. Told you. I like her at that at that point. Yep. She hits that. Rickers with that mid-range jumper. Denia Lee, five nine sophomore. She'll be playing somebody's college in two seasons. There's a three. A wow. Step back three. Two. They call it a two. Call it a two. Eighth grader. Eighth grader. Wow. 50 and 10. Twin, twin sisters. Two eighth graders. Good hustle back. Good rebound. But not running the floor. Like, Grammy High Walker. Like you said, this is where they can close the gap. They can bring it back down to, to within 10 points. Ooh. I'd get a timeout if I was Coach Davis and say, hey, we got to defend that. She hadn't got up off the seat. She nodded her head, told him to keep playing. I would get a timeout because that, that can't happen again. Twice, you do, you get me twice. They called the offensive foul, boy. Family you high, looked like they were going to run on the floor then. <laughs> some, some parents jumped up in front of the camera out back here, too. Twenty-two thirty. And eighth graders hit the two threes over there back to back. Thirty to twenty-two. It's four minutes left. Yeah. Man, you have to get in the response. The Rickards is putting no pressure on them now. They're letting them they're letting Sam you high get in a get in a rhythm. There's an open three. She missed it. Good box out. Yeah, but you got to remember. Right back to the basket. You got to remember. Very nice to done. And they're back in this game. Down by two buckets. The sisters bring and steel. And there's a steal. The sisters, eighth grade sisters. Eighth grade sisters. They battle back. And the, Red, the Raiders look tired. The Raiders look a little winded. I don't think so. It just looked like they started playing like they thought the game was over. If you look at them, they that not many hands on the hips. I mean, they, they just act like the game is over. And Family High stepped up and went to a different level. And uh, we got a timeout. We're going to come right back. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Yep, this ought to be real good that uh, Giselle has after this 21 Savage. Yeah, she's in. You know, when I go to college games, this is what I miss. You know, they, I love the rock and roll, but, you know, you just can't beat 21 Savage and just kind of get you hyped up. I'm ready to play. All right, Lord, let's not let it get that bad. You know, as soon as, that mu soon as this music goes down, we we're going to get Giselle Thomas on. Got her Girls of Insight shirt on. Giselle, what you have for us? 
Well, Coach Cayenne, Coach Maria told her girls to let them you think that they're bringing it back up and just reminded them to who they are and that they are Rickers and that they're going to make sure they bring this game together. Oh, oh, hard foul. Hard foul. Uh-oh, you got parents jumping up. And the I sheriff's ran. The sheriff's got up. They got the camera blocked. The camera's still blocked. Wow. I... Yeah. Very hard foul. Very hard foul. Very hard foul. I can get my staff to, to, to climb. They sitting there on the cell phones and <laughs> all of that and trying to look and see rather than get the camera shot. So they, they must have called a uh, two shot a, intentional foul. Uh, Giselle, what do you have for us? Well, I was back there in the locker room. It's in the Rickers locker room. And the girls aren't really looking that well. It was player number three. She actually had a big gash on the left side of her eye, and it was bleeding a lot. I'm hoping she's OK. It seemed like everyone was back there. I think they said they might have to call the paramedics. They have a blood kit. It doesn't look that pretty, but she's pulling through. She's, she's conscious, so I think she's going to be OK. That was, she, she was cut pretty good on it. That she was. was. I'm not going to lie. It was a pretty big gash, probably the end of her eyebrow to the, to the base of her eye. Wow, we, we hope that she's okay from that. Thank that, you, Giselle. That was strapped. Yeah. They got fouled. Raiders with a long three. And a turnover. Wow. Got him. Wow. Wow. And, and you can look at the faces on the parents. The parents are a little disappointed because they see, they see, you know, from earlier it got out of hand. Right. The parents are up here saying the same thing that the referees just let it get 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 to the to the point to where, you know, the fouls are a little too hard. Right. Well, they let it get out of hand like that, so. And it kind of took it kind of sucked the life out out of it for a little bit. There's another three. And they're back in it. 27-30. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're all the way back now. <laughs> they're all the way back now. The, the Raiders answer. Oh. <laughs> Take that one. I got game two. Take that three. Uh-oh, here we go again. Now, she can hit that one now. She's on. They're contesting shots now. Where's that? Uh, travel. I, I, I look like two steps to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, this, is, this, is, this is a good one here. Look like two steps to me. This has become everything that we thought this game would be. Family High has responded. They battled back from, from 30 to 30 to 18. It's just that, 33. Oh, oh. Yeah, she's gonna call that foul. She got pushed into her, but it's still not a shooting foul. They've only called four fouls on Rickards this quarter, this half. They shot them out that zone, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm glad you're keeping stats. The parents up here still hadn't sat down. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. parents is... Nice pass. Oh, you missed the shot. Yeah, but they're going to run by Fam. You hide going the other way. Lamb, the only person back there that helped defend. The Raiders turned it over. Smart play to take Dominique out with two minutes no, to go. No, she was asking to come out. <laughs> she was asking, she to, was come asking to come out. Oh yeah, coach was ignoring her but for she a has long two, time. She has two fouls. Okay. She had those the first five minutes. Parents still on their feet up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing we got another camera. Oh, oh that there's was a three. great catch. There's a three. A little, a little out of a range there. Ah, uh, nobody back though. The Raiders. She missed the layup. I was most impressed with the outlet pass. It stayed in her hands less than one second. She got up. Yeah, the Raiders, Raiders just don't have that that, uh, that fifth gear when Scrap is on the floor. See, she's she's she's, she's side of two or got three two of them. Got two high players just walking back. And one of them hadn't gotten back yet. Still walking. And they shot that from the guard spot. Yeah, looks like. Uh,
what happened. They were saying timeout. The referee couldn't hear oh, him. She was oh. The coach had to run up to him and yell in his ear, timeout. <laughs> and the parents up here were yelling timeout with the D word behind it. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him with headsets on. Oh. And we take a break. We'll be back. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct to auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct auto exchange. In Tallahassee. Direct auto exchange. West Tennessee. Street. Direct auto exchange. We're selling quality real cars. Yeah, classic rivalry game. This classic rivalry game. This. All right, Giselle, what do you have for us? Well, yes, Coach Clayton, I was over there with Coach Erica and the girls in this huddle. The girls were talking more than the coach, but she was basically telling them to make sure that there's always a ball in the rebound and to make sure they keep their feet forward because the way how these girls are pivoting, they might come through. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks a lot there. And one. And we got Dominique going to the basket in an and one. Twenty-nine thirty-six. Raiders. Raiders came back with that, with that big three to match the DRS. Met okay. MU High's three. Here's another one. Oh, off the glass and in. Call the bank on that one. She couldn't get in her hands quick enough. They, 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 they're uh, discussing the status of scrap right now. Short. And nobody back. Oh, Lamb. they got a little bit better for two back. Lamb and got back and, and they turned it over. Good defensive play by Lamb. She got back. Got back and caused that turnover, caused the confusion. Yeah, surprised Rickards. Rickards was surprised that uh, she actually got back that time. <laughs> they hadn't been getting back like that. You got 13 seconds, 39-29. Rickards stretched that lead back up. Oh, she turned that over. And we got a foul. Yeah, she got it with the body. She got it with the body. The uh, fans didn't like it, but she got definitely got it with the body. But it was a good... Good, good attempt on the block. It was Erica Terrell, another eighth grade, uh, one of the eighth grade twins at the line. Yeah, when it always wreaks havoc when you're in when you're playing at a small school when you can play in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and you know, like I said, Coach Davis was one of those. One of those young ladies that played varsity like from like fifth grade all the way to twelfth grade, and the other teams would, would yell bloody murder. They were like she hadn't graduated yet. Smart defense. Smart defense. Smart defense. Ashanti, good job. That's what she does. Now that veteran made it difficult for him to bring the ball up the floor and got a turnover. They're going to be able to at least have a, a an attempt at getting a shot up. Trying to see if they have a play in specific for this. Oh, they had something. She got a shot off. That's all you could ask. She got a shot off. It's 39-31 at half. We'll be back. 
Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years' experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Oh man, it's not often I do these games and I have an AD or an administrator taller than me. And I saw you picking at him because you said, here comes 40 principal with his hat all on and stuff. I said, I almost didn't know him. He's one of the kids. I couldn't tell he was a principal. He's so cool. You know, that's that fam you rattling in him. He can't help it. Hey, that's right. You know, I just had to come over and say hi to my coach here. Coach Clayton is outstanding as always. My mentor. Just wanted to come say hi. Always great to see him because he set the pathway. And that GQ hat is always nice in reference <laughs> to that. Uh, that's one of those things I learned from FAMU. Oh, yeah, I see. I, I'm glad that you came by because we really wanted to talk to you and ask you and first want to compliment you on what an outstanding year your teams have had this year. I mean, yes, they have. Outstanding character also. What you always want is that you want your team to play hard, be competitive, but you want to make sure that they play the game the way it's supposed to be played and they learn life skills. You know, you don't need all of that rah, 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 all of that negative stuff. And we're very proud of our teams and how they have conducted themselves on and off the court. Had an excellent football season. Yes. You know, your girls' team has the best record in the city. Yes. Your boys' team is always competitive. That's correct. I mean, Rickards is just, Rickards is just doing it. Well, we're trying, and then also we can't forget about our 94% graduation rate also, so that's pretty impressive also. And our students are just doing an excellent job coaching. We're just real proud, and that FAMU upbringing and teaching you how to be a team, how to persevere, how to be great citizens is always a part of my life, that FAMU Rattlers, go Rattlers. Oh, we appreciate that, all the Rattlers, you, and you've made us all very proud. Yeah, well, thank you, Coach. And I appreciate you talking about, because I wanted to ask you about the academic successes of your program. When we interviewed you in the fall, you talked about that, and you let everybody kind of know some things that they didn't know about Rickards. And sometimes they don't want them to know yeah. about Rickards. So use our platform and bring everybody kind of up to date about well, some of the successes. It's, it's just that our kids work real hard, and we have a graduation platform where we work with our kids on the FSA, ACT, SAT prep. We have two of the top football players that are going, that are juniors this year that already met their graduation requirements. They've been recruited by schools such as Louisville, Florida, Alabama, et cetera, and they're gonna be able to sign next year this time because they already qualified. And so not only are we putting the academics together, but we're making sure our athletics, our teams, that the students are qualified to go to college and they have the minimum scores. And I contribute that to my entire staff and the preparation program that we have in place to make sure we meet those obligations. And, and we're real proud of that, what you've done over here on the South Side. And this was an institution that you wanted to come to, to work. Would you tell people about it and your passion for wanting to be at Rickards to help? Well, my passion for wanting to be at Rickards, you know, coming here 30 years ago as a college student, over 30 years ago, and then always wanting to work with kids and work in the school system. I had a chance to meet Gene Atkins, who came in the same year, and they used to always talk about Rickards High School South Side. And so having to experience that over the years, I just really believe in the students that are here and the community itself. Because the key is that sometimes my most talented always leave and go to other communities. I wanted to say that I was talented, but I was gonna stay in my community and I was gonna work and do the things that I could do to provide inspiration for the students and let them know that the world is about what they make it, not about what people have made the world, they can make the world out of whatever they want by believing in themselves. And number one, you got to get an education. And that's your platform. So that's why I wanted to work with the Southside schools and community. 
I'm headed to Bond Elementary next week to read to some of the younger kids. And that's where you, as a high school principal, can give back to the younger kids by getting out in your community, doing some other things. So, yes, I'm going to Bond next week. Superintendent will be there, and we will be reading with some young third, first, second, third, fourth graders and trying to inspire them to love a reading. But see, it's even more than that. He's so modest. And one of the things is, is that he, he's, he, to... he's doing an outstanding job. Yeah. He, he, he's, he's downplaying himself. Oh. He's doing an outstanding job at Rickards. I've seen that from, from my adopted son that, kept that, that has, has been at Rickards. He's doing an outstanding job, Coach. <laughs> okay, Thank now you. I forgot what I was going to say now after that. But uh, one of the things that I wanted everybody to understand was that this was where you wanted to be. Yes. And, and it's your passion for that that allows you to do all these extra things because it's what you want to do. Yes. And some other people would look at working on the south side as punitive. Yes. And it's what you wanted. You hey. saw a need and you wanted to put your, that's one reason you've been so successful and so good at it because it's where you wanted to be. Hey, I believe in, I believe in this community. I believe in the students in this community. I believe in the parents in this community. And I just wanted to come and just be a part of the community. I serve them, and that's my passion is that I serve them. And whatever I can give them is, is just, like you said, a caveat. Because like you said, I wanted to be here. I had worked at other prominent schools, and I was very successful at those schools. But I had a, a longing to come to this community and to give my best while I still am at my best. So love being here, love Southside, South City is my passion and it's really my home. When I'm here, it's like being home. And and what he just said about when he's here is like being home. Jeff, we talk about it all the time when we come to Rickards. Yeah. You know, it's like a home for us when we come here. Yeah. Rickards, again, was one of the first high schools to commit to the Insights program. Um, and as a result, other schools want to know why we at Rickards, why Rickards committed to us. Coach, he filled some outstanding shoes. Where they used to have a guy here by the name of Rock. Even though I didn't go to Rickards, everybody knew Rock. And he filled, he stepped right in and, and continued to help the young men, you know, be a role model for them at Rickards, even, even throughout the city. So I, I, kudos, I want to commend him. Well, we put Rock Jones in the Hall of Fame, the Rickards Hall of Fame last year. Two years ago, matter of fact. And so I worked with Rock's wife, and she and Rock was a mentor of mine also. And he was also some I was passionate about coming to Rickers as well. So, you know, you need that strong role model, that strong figure with our kids, and our kids have responded, and it's a great experience. Well, again, we thank you, insights for all thank that you've you, done Coach, for us. Always a pleasure. No pleasure is mine. And, and anytime you need a, a record, hey, let us know we're there for you. And he says that, but he means that. Every time we've oh, done yeah. something that we have felt so comfortable here, and the coaches, everybody just kind of opens up, makes it real easy for us to get access, oh, just yeah. do what we want to do. And you have some good teams, and we're really proud of the, what these young men and, and young ladies have done academically. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and we're glad that we've been able to provide a platform for you to let people know what they're doing. Well, thank you, Coach. And uh, as always, a pleasure. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And uh, we definitely will see you around, Coach. Thank exactly you. Exactly will. Thanks, Coach. And with us today was the principal, Coach Doug Cook. It's about that time. Pre record on my count. Seven, six, five, four. Here we go. Roger. Then with the coach, Mickey Clayton on Insights. Two eyes in the middle. I N S I I G H T S, where we always talk the testing, talk. Testing. Got you. You got me? I do. Insight, Insight Sports, Sports Talk. Sports Talk. What? Insight Sports, Sports Talk. 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 Insight Sports Talk with your hosts, the coach, Mickey Clayton, bringing you insight on all the latest stories. I mean, this time in America when we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King and all of these people are giving their speeches about 50 years ago and in 1963, when Martin gave that speech on the mall up in Washington, uh, was the year that uh, a ton of students from FAMU 
march downtown to be in sympathy and do lunch counter uh, desegregation that black people could sit at lunch counters and we demonstrated made the cover of Life magazine because our student body marched in unison. Our students were on the cover of Life magazine? Yeah, okay. for doing that. Back in 1963, same year that Martin did the speech on the mall, FAMU students marched downtown Tallahassee to, uh, in keeping with what was happening all across the South in terms of the desegregation of lunch counters, okay? So, Tennessee State just just gave a baccalaureate degree to about 29 students who were freedom riders who went down there. I mean, if you went to see The Butler, the movie The Butler, mm -hmm. the, the son Lewis was uh, in The Freedom Riders. He was from Fisk, but the movie didn't show Tennessee State, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Tennessee State sent a bus down there for The Freedom Riders, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they put all those kids out of school. When they came back, uh, they were dismissed from Tennessee State. And so Tennessee State and the border regions just rectified that by bringing all of those kids back and giving them a baccalaureate uh, wow. degree, right? So. Uh, during this time, you've got all these wonderful memories uh, that are being uh, talked about, the movies on television. And there's a big hookup with, with black colleges during this time, right? I mean, I mean, Jackson State, Southern, South Carolina State, Florida a and all these schools did something remarkable in the period that Martin was marching. They were a part of that stuff. They did things on their own. Uh, it's like the Tallahassee bus boycott following the Montgomery uh, bus boycott. That came from that came from the student body at uh, FAMU uh, station had him arrested. Reverend Miles went down there and got him out of jail. Did he? Yeah. And he, he brought them back to their houses and then that night the Ku Klux Klan burned a cross on their lawn. And we went down there and got him and brought him to the campus. And the next day brought us Hartley uh, called the assembly of all of the students on the campus and announced that we were not going to ride the bus anymore, that we were going to walk. And uh, I never will forget that day, uh, all of the kids who were in Lee Hall, in Lee Auditorium, uh, rushed out and the football team, players from the football team, the bus was coming through the campus right down in front of Jackson Davis Hall, right across from where the dining room is. They grabbed the bus up on the, on the, uh, on the right side of it as you face the bus. They went around on the side and all of them got on the side and lifted that bus up. Maybe come to about a 45 degree angle and shook the people off the off the bus. There were people riding that bus, right? Wow. But they shook them off, right? And that bus left FAMU's campus empty. And the Tallahassee bus boycott was on. So it was started by students at FAMU. Uh, our students were involved in, in, call, in the causal reason for it because they were put in jail. And uh, uh, our officials went down and got them. And then the Ku Klux Klan acted up and we acted up to counter that, to show them that they were not gonna bully us around. 
and uh, the tile acid bus boycott went on, and then C.K. Steele formed the Intercivic Council, which included faculty members and students from FAMU, and they gave guidance to the Tallahassee boy, uh, bus boycott. And so that's why today in Tallahassee down there near Frenchtown, you have the C.K. Steele Transportation Center, and that's a direct result of the Intercivic Council and the bus boycott. Now, people lost their jobs. Uh, the faculty members who became members of the Inter-Civic Inter Council and actively participated in the Tallahassee bus boycott, uh, those faculty members had to leave FAMU. So people like... <laughs>39-31. Yes, sir. Always, always good to see, see you know, strong, positive black men. You know, everybody is not a not a jump shooting basketball player with, with a loud mouth that you can look up to. I don't know what what that meant, but I'm gonna just kind of move on from there. But I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about. I knew you was, but I was trying. To, okay, well, and I appreciated him coming over here and allowing himself to be interviewed and to tell people about some of the academic successes of these student athletes and other students at Rickards here on Southside, always fighting that stigma. Now for a high school that's probably 95% black, to have a 94% graduation rate is outstanding. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, because it's in the state of Florida, it's probably less than, less than 80% th sure. throughout the entire state. That was an excellent caveat that he put in there, something that everybody should be proud of, the academic success of Rickards. Yeah, and when, when we were here, he was talking to his athletic director, and we'll get back to the game, but he, you know, he was talking to his athletic director about, hey, make sure we get this kid and that kid oh. into the uh, ACT prep so they can be, you know, they can qualify. Mm-hmm. We got that, that three knockdown. I, I like her at the point guard spot. She brings a little bit for him to Nia Lee. Yeah, that's got to be about 15 points for her already. She has two threes. Yeah, she, she settles them down. Got away with one. Then Dominique could have very easily been called for reaching over. Yeah. Looks like they're settled down a little bit. Look, the coaches drew a little bit of that fire out of them. You know, they have basketball energy now. It, it, you know, it looks like they're, they're very focused on the game. They turn it over. Wow. Wow. Twins, Quinn went down with some speed on that one. Sherrod, Coach Davis. She, she never, oh, he should have had the steal there. Yeah. Oh, uh, looked like, look like backcourt. It, it did look like backcourt. Oh, and that's and a, a travel. travel. 
And, and Coach Davis is just telling her, calm down, yeah. calm down. And the, fan, the, the fans jumped up as soon as she went back court then when she traveled. <laughs> the one, two, two. Match one, three, one. They got the postman up top with Dominique. It's a three. They're quick to pull the trigger on those threes. Well, that's who was hitting them before and got them in it. So she gets to the free throw line. She looks to jump over and take that jumper there. Yeah, to me, is not quite as aggressive as I've as we saw her earlier. She's kind of letting the game come to her a little bit. We saw her earlier in the year. If she got that ball to the free throw line, she just pulled over you and knocked down a jump shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rock, Rock in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Everybody knows Rock. Oh, uh, yeah. The times we used to sneak on the Rickers campus, you couldn't get two steps, and here comes Rock. You have to go running, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, shout out to old Rock. <laughs> nice jump hook down there in the paint. I can't see the line from here, but she was she was very close to it. Well, she was out. Mm -hmm. The thing is, we try to teach them when they get, not to get inside that block because if you go inside that block and pivot baseline, there's no room. You're underneath the backboard. There's nothing you could do. So postmen have to learn how to play on that block by looking where those markings are at the free throw line. Ooh. Nice move. That's a basket. We got one free throw coming. We'll be right back. That's good. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct Auto Exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars, and our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct Auto Exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct Auto Exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility, so load up with the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct Auto Exchange. In Tallahassee. Direct Auto Exchange. West Tennessee. Street. Direct Auto Exchange. We're selling quality. We own cars. There was some question if she traveled, and she stood there at the free throw line, Lanai, and kind of demonstrated to the audience how she didn't move her foot. She wasn't. It's the free throw. She can't hit that. Push the ball. Once you make that first pass, fam, you're not getting down on defense. Lamb, Lamb made it back. Really. Forty-six, thirty-three. The Ra Raiders are stretch the lead again. The teams are. They're living, they're living and dying by that three. They've gone ice cold. Nice mid-range jumper. Very nice. Then you have to press. Soft press. Not much pressure on it. Yeah. And now she got all the way to the basket. And missed the layup. Missed the layup. And she got hit. Yes, she did. Got hit, Pope. Oh. Yeah, she got hit in the mouth there. She's. Yeah, we 
got fouled on that jumper. She almost knocked it down. Yeah, the Raiders are taking a beating in this game. <laughs> yeah, Miss Randall's still just sitting there. I'm glad they have a trainer. The coach, I mean, the ref must have said something to her because she turned and looked at him like that was her cousin, and you don't say something to me like that. <laughs> but he said something to her, and she just kind of looked at him. Going deeper into that bench. <laughs> Play a six, seven, and eight for the uh, third quarter, three and a half minutes into it. 33-36. Wish she can make it 37. She does. Back to within nine. Change the press now then. A 1-2-2. A, two, two. a little, bit more, little bit more aggressive on the press. And they turn it over. Wow, she was hammered. Yes, she, was. she was hammered, no call. And she got beat up and took the ball from her too. But it was like five fouls made before that one. Yeah. And they took Dominique out. They're a lot more aggressive without her, which is they're dependent on the jump shot now. Let's see how that plays for him. Nice pass. Yeah, they're quick to pull the trigger. Get a shot off. That's the small. I would expect them to be able to run the floor better than what they're doing now. Raiders miss another layup. And man. two players from Family High never did come all the way down. Family High. Oh, you got two players from Family High didn't come down on offense either. They're looking to rest at every opportunity they can. Shanti Lamb with a three. She's gone, she's gone cold in the third. And as long as it took her to make that outlet pass, yeah. there was one girl that was back, and everybody else was on this side of the floor. A couple of them bent over now holding their knees. Yeah, she, she had to cock that one back and throw it. And the whole team should have been able to con converge on that one and steal it. She had to telegraph that pass. Everybody in the, in the, in the arena knew where, where it was going. Yeah, family high's tired. Wow. And she powers it in. Oh, that's a good word. That's a good word. 48-37. Oh, nice move. Nice move. Takes it to the hole. Eighth grade. Nobody all the way back. Her sister trying to get back. Two players just now getting a half court from Family High. At any point, at any time, you could on a fast break after a play, you could you'll see it's always two or three players from Family High not getting back down the floor. Coach Dom just took one of them out and put Dominique here. Dominique is back. Oh. That was awful close to five seconds. You know, I normally I count, but I was. I was Did you see Coach Davis there? Yeah. <laughs> and she was trying to tell him, make sure they need to reverse. That wasn't who she wanted to take that ball out. Yeah. Normally I count, but I was a little distracted. Sorry about that. Uh, that's okay. Nice inbounds play. She has a nice touch on the ball. This time Rickards kind of, oh, job back. Missed the layup. Both, both teams look tired. Now the fans are up again. You got that foul. She has four fouls, and that's who was hitting the threes for. She has to take her out. Forty-eight, thirty-seven, Raiders. Back three-quarter press. They pass over the top of it. I don't think she knew where that ball was. Yeah, she couldn't look like she didn't see it at all. No, she didn't. Ramia Hawkins, 5'10", sophomore. Two, three. Working down to Dominique to see what she can do. Trying to get a little closer. Fade away. We still got to find that back door. She just took that one from me. Contact coming. Good rebound. Offensive. That's offensive. 
She hit her with the bow. And the fans are up, blocking the camera again. They didn't like it. Uh, but it was offensive. She hit her with the bow. Uh, see, I couldn't see because yeah. at the scores table they moved too. I couldn't yeah, well, see I'm, it. I'm zoomed in fairly close and I can see, you know, I have a, a different vantage point. You know, there. She, she threw that bow in there and the referee saw it too. He made that call without hesitation though. So yeah. I, and it was a good call. 51-38. The Rickers can't, they can't lay down and get complacent like they did in the, in the second quarter. They jumped out, they got a big lead and kind of took their foot off the gas. Well, I was going to say, she, oh, she got away with a foul because she, she hit a pretty good there. Yeah. Well, I'm getting. <laughs> and there's the athletic director going out. He, now he's a medic. <laughs> Yeah, well, he, he knew the way she landed. And see, that was that was a foul, family, huh? Yeah. Um, and they, and she, it, was a, it wasn't an intentional foul. She was going for the ball, for the rebound. I'm not saying it was an intentional foul. I'm just saying it was a foul and it didn't get called. It wasn't a travel. And, and the coach is saying something to the refs, and she, she's exact, she's correct. And Strap is back over here in the stands. Looks like she's getting ready to go, go come back in. She's talking come to on, her. Ladies, come on. She's talking to her mom. Come on! Come on! Let's no. go! Come on! Go! Go! A lot of referee and done by the uh, score over here. Yeah, the, the score. <laughs> the score, I hear him yelling through your headset. It, yes, and almost hit me two, three times. There's that jumper. Good rebound. Good rebound. Back up. Good play by the, by the Raiders not to foul. Don't foul or give her anything. There's a steal. And if she, she missed, they missed the foul. Whoa. Get it? Watch him. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. The fans. Watch it. The parents are up. Watch it. Watch it. I told you, watch it. The parents are up in front of the camera again. And Coach Davis immediately out there saying, look, y'all better cut it out. She's, she's out there. She is hot. She is hot. Uh-oh, here comes somebody's mom out of the stands. Yeah, but that's a family high mom that came <laughs> out the stands. Here comes big Allen Williams. He needs to be in the Red the Redskins Hall of Fame. Uh, we got the, we, we, we have a... Uh, we have uh, we have the uh, parents down there. We got the uh, we got the police down there. They're throwing somebody out. Big Big Allen Williams came with. He got some straightening real quick. <laughs> he said, "Let's go." I, I see. I see. Uh, Coach Milan Clayton got one of them. She she has a Shanti down there. That's that's the temperamental one. See, she got the tech because when the foul happened, she bumped her. I, I saw what she did. She bumped her. And that's what they instantly called it, see? Yeah. And that's almost something you, you at one time, I used to teach them old school. We, we got Giselle here. What do you, what do you, what do you have, Giselle? We, we, we didn't hear anything then. What's it? Let's try it again. So they got the free throws, and now she's shooting the tech. What, what do we have with Jeff? Jeff, how come we, we can't get this well, out? We'll, we'll check here in just a second. <laughs> okay. So 53-41, and the Raiders retain the ball. Wow, she's trying to tell the girl from family is six players on the floor. It's six players on the floor. Six fam you players or six Rickers? Six Rickers play. Here go the six player walking by the bench in front of me. Ashante. And they're trying to tell her to go and back in the it. game, but they got five players in the game. They're telling her to go back in the game, but it's five players on the game, on the floor right now. Yeah. Fam you's just out of sync. They go back for another easy layup. 
and they hit that one. Uh, they need a timeout. Well, he got 30 seconds to the quarter, I think. Not a, not a good foul to, you know, give him an easy chance to. to like Keisha Walker at the free throw line. To shoot a basket while the, while the clock's not going. Exactly. They're trying to make a difference over here and who they're putting in and out. But this game is getting away from them. This might be the, might be close to being the largest lead of the game. 57-41. Missed both free throws. And that was a tackle. And that was a tackle. That was a tackle. Uh, we're going to take a break right now. We'll be back. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct to auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility, so load up the kids and bring the family. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. In Tallahassee, direct auto exchange. It's Tennessee, direct auto exchange. We're selling quality free on cars. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years' experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct to auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we so if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility, so load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct auto exchange in Tallahassee. Direct auto exchange in Tennessee. Direct auto exchange. We're selling quality real cars. And it's like that. This has been something. Everybody's standing up. On the family high end, they missed the free throws. Rickers comes down, a little bit more poised. You would think that they were the veteran team. They have no seniors on this team. They're trying to win a state championship. Family High has a couple rings on their belt right now. But Rickers looks some more composed right now. And you have the three, a long three. Good hustle, good hustle. Three seconds, son. They've been in that lane a long time. So each ref looking at the other ref. Yeah, they were looking at. They, they, they were and the referee that's up here near you made a call from this all the way right. down the baseline from 52 feet away. Oh, that was a nice move. Oh, and he got a foul. From the boy. other side. Woo! And boy, <laughs> the, other, and it, the other folks are. What, what, what's her volume on that? On four. Okay. Wow, that was a heck of a move. I can't say she was fouled on it. Yes, and they let him score with the clock not moving. 
Well, they got to score a lot to be able to do something there. That's 59, 43, 1.2 second left. And they got it in. But what we want to hear, we got Giselle here. Giselle, what do you have for us? Well, Coach, when I tell you tensions are so high throughout the crowd, when I was over there by FAMU's side, some parents ended up getting kicked out because they were so riled up about the referees. Well, they think the referees aren't calling the right call. Now, over on the other side with Rickard, the coach was just really telling the girls to make sure they push forward and do not let anything hold them down. As you can see, two of their girls already got hurt, but coach just made sure she kept being positive, and the one thing she said was not to let these girls push them down physically or mentally. And I think the parent uh, came out of the stand. Yes, she definitely did. Okay. She, she was very worried about her child. She actually ended up coming back down in the back of the locker room, the Rickards locker room, and people were, they weren't as upset because they knew that the girl could handle it. When I tell you that girl was one tough cookie, she was not crying, she was just washing off the board off her face, and when she might need stitches, she didn't even stay for the stitches. All they did was put a little butterfly cover on it and calls it a day, and now she's right back out there sitting on the bench with the other girls. <laughs> uh, thank you, Giselle, we appreciate it. Yep. Giselle Thomas, our inside sideline reporter. She's done football and basketball. She's from the J School. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct Auto Exchange in Tallahassee. Direct Auto Exchange. West Tennessee Street. Direct Auto Exchange. We're selling quality real cars. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Yes, representing FAMU SJGC. Oh, all day, every day. you're here, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> we have 59-43. Wow, they, they scored 20 points that quarter. They take it to the basket. Yeah, they did. Lakeisha Walker, I always liked her, even as a young girl, the ninth grader. But she's playing with so much heart. They're coming out with a little bit more intensity. Yeah, I think this is the twins' mom up here near me who keeps jumping up in front of the camera. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's say it is, huh? <laughs> the referee said, let him call the game. I said, okay. <laughs> no more arts on that free throw. Rickards is just so calm and poised. They're just so poised. I'm real impressed with that. And knocks that free throw down. 
I like this unit that Coach Cromartie has on the floor here. She has four guards that are really pretty aggressive, and they're, they're hunting the ball. They, they, there's no blood, not enough blood in the water, but if you leave a little bit out there, it'll help. 59-46 for our Spreaker audience that can't see the screen. Ricketts knocks down the three. It wasn't an uncontested three. She made a jab, step, right, went left, knocked it down. We got family high going from our left to our right. And black uniform, some orange and green in it. Ricketts in white, blue and gold. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct Auto Exchange in Tallahassee. Direct Auto Exchange. West Tennessee Street. Direct Auto Exchange. We're selling quality real cars. Blue and gold trim, Dominique to the basket. And, and she, she was fouled. She, and she was fouled. She was fouled, no call. Boy, they're that, 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 that at the ball again. That's five fouls. No, I don't no, think no, no, that's it's the other, a sister. Uh, that's the other sister, okay. Oh, somebody said it, it called five. They did call five on them. Lights going out. That happened last time. Yeah, that happened in FAMU gym when they, they were playing uh, Bethune Cookman. There, there go your uh, AD, hand in pocket, running out. He, he does a little bit of everything. I've come over here with Rickards. He's the electrician. <laughs> and he was over there cooking the hamburgers for the football team. <laughs> yeah, we got all the lights back on. And he comes back out flexing his arms. I, I wish you had a shot of that. I know. I saw him. You didn't get him on the camera. I saw him. Oh, 62-46. They knocked down that free throw. Ashanti under the basket, kind of laughing. Uh, they have taught the record players on that when you're in the middle of that free throw line, how each one of them spun to the outside, which means now you're standing next to the block out position. It's a matter then it's a jumping contest because they're not blocked out. Yeah. Oh, they're going they're going to box in one. They're going man to man on number 50. Yeah. And she just took that. She just took that one. Come on, Jack. They, I mean, they're, they're getting upset. I like 50, though. She's a young girl, Aaron Terrell. Yeah, they're, they're eighth grader. Boy, I, wow. Well, these, the teams in one A are gonna be in trouble. They're in they're in deep trouble for for years to come. Well, they're gonna be good. I don't know if they're state championship good, but I don't know if they're state championship good. Yeah, well, some of those teams that get to the state tournament 
Yeah, they're going to they're be in trouble. They're, they're running 6'4", six, 6'5", six, inside. They're, you know, they're going to need to play very well to get there, and they're going to need them to learn and grow from this situation that they're in right now. You got two eighth graders starting varsity and contributing. You know, they're, they're probably in 30 or 40 percent range of their offensive production. And the line knocked down the first free throw. Got the second one. Left hand touch. Arch on it. Knocks it down. She keeps the ball over her head. Well coached. 65 46. Six minutes to go. She got all the way to the basket but missed it. Watch it. Watch it. White ball. Every time they go to the floor with the ball, everybody kind of holds their breath. We're yeah. going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. White ball. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct auto exchange in Tallahassee. Direct auto exchange. West Tennessee Street. Direct auto exchange. We're selling quality free cars. And we're back. There was some discussion over whose ball it was. Family High slow setting up in their press. Still not much pressure on it. They had pass over the top. Oh, that, that was way too easy for him. Yep. So slow to get back on defense again. Uh, Tamara, she just she gets in her range. She pulls up and shoots it. Missed shot, rebound. Now she's been able to get to the basket against everybody. She gets to the basket against everybody. Shooting two free throws. We're going to take a Lowry Masonry and Construction timeout. We'll be back. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. 
Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, Direct Auto Exchange. At Direct Auto Exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, Direct Auto Exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee direct auto exchange. In Tallahassee, direct auto exchange. West Tennessee, direct auto exchange. We're selling quality real cars. Lowry Masonry and Construction for all your construction needs. You missed that first free throw. 67-46 with 5.25 to go in the, a very spirited contest here tonight. Big rival game. And missed both free throws. I would say uh, the fat lady might not be singing. But she sure is humming pretty loud. She's on. The, she's she's warming up. Pulls up and shoots a three off the break. She can't find that range. Loses yeah. loses the handle. Yeah, she got it. Then she hit it off her foot. But I like her heart and effort. She has not backed down or quit yet. She hadn't quit. Aaron Terrell, Terrell. She hasn't quit. Akisha Walker, 5'6", junior. She hadn't quit. Ashante Lamb gives you what she has, too. Another they just, turnover. They just have to get everybody playing together. Yeah. They have a good. Well, they have some talent out here now. But Rickards, give all credit to them. This is something they have wanted. Well, I said no hard foul. They have wanted this game. They have wanted to beat Family High. They beat them earlier in the season. I don't know the last time they swept them. This is pretty important to Rickards. I think this win today will take them to 23 and 2 for the season. Very nicely. Well coached, disciplined. Foul. Five. I hear former player Kanisha Miller yelling at her, telling you're supposed to be there already. We take a break. We'll come back, though. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711. South Gaston Street, Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Lowry Masonry and Construction yeah, for we, all your construction we needs. We heard, heard the scorekeeper alertly tell him that's four on him. Aaron knocks one down for the second one. Coach, how many points does Dominique have? Have you kept that? that no, stat? haven't. 
Hits the second one. Still down 21 with four and a half to go. Lob pass. Rickers gets the ball across half court. They settle it down. They got overload, four players on one side of the floor. They're running a box and one on her, on Tamia. Actually, in it. Ashante trying to tell him, trying to tell him they need to get up. Miss jumper. Family high running a three on one fast break. And they score two on the missed shot and rebound by Dominic, 69 50. They throw over the top of the press. Ashante guarding half the floor. Nobody else picking up there to help her. That's got to be backcourt. Well, he must have heard you. Yeah, because she, she passed the ball. They would, the ball wasn't slapped. She actually passed the ball. But before it gets out of hand, Coach Sharia Davis called a timeout. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And she went over there and got it right off the bat. She went all the way over there. She is in her, her face. <laughs> yeah, she's still in her face. She's not going to let them get away with it, and she's going to stay in them with details. The 23 and 2 is not as important to her as winning rings. She wants a championship. And she's not going to have let them do that. So she's on them now. Yep, let's take a break here, Coach. And then. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, Direct Auto Exchange. At Direct Auto Exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, Direct Auto Exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct auto exchange in Tallahassee. Direct auto exchange. West Tennessee Street. Direct auto exchange. We're selling quality free cars. Davis comes back with her point guard. Yeah, I know the referees will want to hit the old Shriners after this one. To maybe get them a little something to drink because this has been intense. <laughs> Lanai Lee checks in. And um, we, we have uh, Giselle back. And, uh, and she's up. Giselle? Uh, she got a travel call. What do you have, Giselle? Well, Coach Clayton, Coach Erica was just to make sure she was on her girls to make sure they stay strong. She said to stop letting the girls come and block them from taking their shots. She said to make sure they're a bit more aggressive and to put their best foot forward. Because even though the other team is playing a bit aggressive, if they keep their aggressiveness up, they won't be able to pass them. Back to you. Oh, there you go. That's a good one there, Coach Erica. She never found a range the second half. Aaron didn't. And she took a three, but she just wasn't in a, you know, she never got back in that range that she had to start the uh, second quarter. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just it's, it's Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years' experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct auto exchange. In Tallahassee. Direct auto exchange. West Tennessee. Street. Direct auto exchange. We're selling quality real cars. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. we got your neck and your back. Back. Yeah, I see her talking about scrap. Scrap. She, she has some ice over over her eye, holding it. She wants to be here with her team to be a part of this. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got the we got the little brothers and everybody coming out of the stands. <laughs> now that might be Coach Davis, son. Well, they got the right guy here. Big Allen Williams. Nobody's going to challenge Allen. And, you know, Allen's alertly over there looking in the crowd, making sure every, everybody stays civil. Oh, well, he's uh, got a kickball on it. Giselle, you, ha you have something for us there. Her and her girls were literally dancing. They were celebrating. It's not, it's not too early to celebrate because, you know, they got two minutes and 14 seconds left. But her girls are very confident that they will win this game. I can tell you that. Yeah, well, up 22. And Dominique was substituted out, but she didn't want to come out. But I, I think they're kind of raising the flag a little bit. And everybody pretty, pretty much knows it, it would take uh, the Golden State Warriors for them to come back now. Yes, nothing can stop them now. Thank you, Giselle. Job well done. Thank you. Nice drive to the basket. She's got to be. She's got to have 20 points, coach. That's oh yeah. She's hit four threes. Family high still with the press. Well, they man, it. they throw over the top of it. Nicely done by the Raiders. Nicely done. Wow. Yeah, she didn't see her. She didn't see her. She had her covered. And she threw it. Uh, trying to get to the basket, but that she may have, might be a Charlie horse. Oh, uh, she's going to shoot this. There's that high arcing three. And over the back, no call. One, well, minute, one minute to go. Oh, yeah, that's it. They're trying to let this game get over with now. There's, the, there's another definite hack foul. Ready to score. 
78 points by Rickards. 78 to 52 with 46 seconds left in the game. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. If you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. Customer care is our specialty. We do whatever it takes is our philosophy. If you want to drive away in a new car today, direct auto exchange. At direct auto exchange, we sell quality pre-owned cars. And our commitment to the community says a lot about who we are. So if you're looking for a deal on a new set of wheels, direct auto exchange. If your credit isn't great, you have some payments that relate direct auto exchange. We got a squeaky clean facility. So load up the kids and bring the family. Your complete satisfaction, we guarantee. Direct auto exchange in Tallahassee. Direct auto exchange. West Tennessee Street. Direct auto exchange. We're selling quality real cars. Family High bringing it down. Still shooting the threes. And nice knocks one. it down. Knock, knocks it down to three. She, he actually could have called an offensive foul on that. Yeah. She actually could have called an offensive foul on that. Because she looked like she pushed off on it. Yeah, I, I saw a little extension of the arm there. Yeah. But I wasn't paying, I, I, there's another one I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention again. Oh, but I, I was looking right at that one. That's five fouls on them. Now well, the shot is going back in. That's wow. It just seemed like the game was closer than this. 79 to 56. Lowry, it did, it did. Mason, Lowry Masonry and Construction. All your construction needs. Another free throw made. That's 80 points. 55 to 80. Now, the thing I want to know is how does Family High respond to this? What do they do for the remaining two weeks of the season? I think they learned a value. They're going to learn a valuable lesson because they're going to look at the film. They're going to look at the film and see they just didn't hustle. They didn't, they didn't get back on defense. You know. Wow, we got about five players standing at half court watching the game. Yeah, they just, you know, they, they were out hustled. They were out rebounded. You know, Rickers just had, just had a spark. Just, just had, had that extra gear. Oh, yeah. Southside Championship Rickards with a sweet two games over FAMU High. And we're going to come back. We're going to get Coach Davis on in our post-game show. But we'll be back to talk to him. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Oh, 
Well, congratulations, oh, Coach thank Davis. You, thank you, thank you. I, you, you. You won convincingly. <laughs> you didn't split it. You won both games. Yes. So can we say that uh, Rickers girls, the champions of Tallahassee? Uh, I, I guess we can say that. We beat everybody in the city, so I guess we can say that. Okay, well, congratulations. And one of the things that I was most impressed with was the way that you kept your girls under control. It, was, it, it got a little bit out of hand, but you mentally stayed on them to keep their head in the game and not to let anything dissuade them or get them sidetracked. How do you do that, Coach? I just keep talking to them and tell them about the bigger picture for both teams. I mean, both teams can make it, you know, pretty deep in the playoffs. So we don't need anybody hurt. We don't need anybody uh, getting kicked out or not able to play the rest of the season. It's just a basketball game at the end of the day. So just kept telling them that, hey, we just got to stay here. Uh, it's just a game. We win or lose, just go out and play hard. They begin to get some of that dog that you had when you played in them. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. I guess I, I, I rough them up in practice enough. Is that what it is, Coach? Because they, they didn't quit. And, and the thing that you just said is very important is that if FAMU High wins the rest of their games, you can still win the rest of your games, and we can come back with two champions in Tallahassee. Yeah, it's all about representing the city, and I think uh, that gets lost sometimes. Uh, as long as we're not in the same district and same region, you know, I wish the best for both teams, all the teams in the area, because it makes us look that much more competitive in this area. It does, it does. Coach, I'm not going to keep you. This is a big win for you. Okay. I know you want to get and celebrate with your team and the crowd and all the support. You had an outstanding crowd in here tonight. I know. I, it's, it's really good for the girls to see that. And you know from coaching women's sports, you know how hard it is to get people in and watch them. So I was really uh, pleased with the crowd tonight and just excited for our team and their team the rest of the way. Okay. This is Coach Davis. She did a heck of a job. I, had a, I got a quick question. Uh oh. Coach okay. Davis, how many years did you play for Coach LeCount? How many years varsity did you play? I didn't play for him. I was supposed to. I I, I stayed home and went to Quincy Shanks. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, they, I tried to tell him I'm that sorry, you played at East Gaston and Shanks. Thanks. But you know, Jeff Walker can't always tell Jeff now. Yeah, I got you. Okay, okay. You he's got, a walker. Right, he's a walker. You know. <laughs> Again, congratulations, Coach. Thank you for coming. We okay. wish you the, the best best of luck and let Insights know what we could do for you. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay. okay. And we wrap up here with Coach Davis. She did an excellent job. They had a, a game that wasn't even close. I mean, there was a lot of intensity in the game. Um, I really liked the way they kept the girls under composure, kept them composed, because there were a couple of situations that it could have gotten out of hand. Um, but there's a, an intense rivalry here in Southside. Um, it has been FAMU High that has dominated this rivalry over the last three or four years that have uh, been able to be the team to beat in the city. And as a result, Rickards came back and swept them, and they weren't, they weren't even close. Uh, so we'll be interested to see how these two teams fare when they get to the yeah, it's state the, playoffs. There's a lot of basketball to be played by both these teams, and you know, Rickards is going to make it. You know, they're, in, they're in a tough you know, uh, 3A division. And uh, FAMU High, you know, they're going to be good in their 1A division. You know, nothing to worry about, I don't think, with either one of these teams. Well, it was an exciting game, and we were glad we were able to get in and get a chance to show it to you, the fans, in WCTV viewing area. And for those of you listening on Spreaker who were able to follow us live on a live broadcast, we'll continue to do this as we get ready to wrap up towards the, the basketball season. And uh, we'll still have baseball and softball to come to you. Insights, high school game of the week. Make sure you follow us, all of our games, on our website, Insights, I-N-S-I-I-G-H-T-S, two I's in the middle. You can also find our games on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, Insights everywhere. Showing you tomorrow's stars today. See these young ladies, see these young men that will be playing collegiately sooner than you think. This is Insights. We'll talk to you later.